hi there, my name is Dr. Ben Sessa. I'm a child and adolescent psychiatrist and a psychedelic researcher. Been in the field for about 10 or 15 years. Uh, currently running the UK's first clinical MDMA study. Um, indeed, the world's first clinical MDMA study with addictions. Um, and we're using MDMA assisted psychotherapy to treat alcohol use disorder. We're doing that in Bristol, which is the San Francisco of the UK. So my life's work has brought me to this point with MDMA and alcohol use disorder. Um, I'm, I'm really interested in the developmental trajectory from child maltreatment and abuse into adult mental disorder and particularly addiction. Um, I started out working with children and adolescents um, and then I've moved into adult addictions in recent years. And the, the cohort of, of people in their 30s, 40s, 50s with alcohol disorder, heroin addiction, crack cocaine, almost all of them have come from troubled childhoods, almost all of them. And so I see addictions as PTSD plus drug. Um, so MDMA seems to be a really good option for that because we know MDMA has a really good history with treating trauma and trauma seems to be inherent through addiction. So what we have designed is this protocol of an eight week course of MDMA assisted psychotherapy. Most of the sessions are just non-drug sessions. And then on two occasions, weeks three and six, they take MDMA um, with two therapists. Patients are tolerating it very well. It's really positive. They find the experience uh, really uh, important and enlightening. And crucially, they say it seems to have more effect than previous treatments for their alcoholism. So alcoholism is a huge financial, social, clinical burden in the UK. You know, 20,000 deaths a year. Uh, 20 billion pounds spent on alcohol related disorders um, and the treatments we have are poor you know after a hundred years of modern psychiatry we're still struggling with relapse into drinking at 90% at four years so the very best the medical profession can throw at you you have your detox you have AA you have groups you have anti-craving drugs all of these things four years later 90% of people are drinking that's a terrible outcome to treat alcoholism when it's such an important disorder. So I think MDMA-assisted psychotherapy can really bring something to the field. I'm really pleased that Australia, like everywhere else in the world, is waking up to the concept of uh, psychedelic-assisted medicine. I mean, for me, psychedelic med medicine isn't, it's not unusual, it's not controversial, it's just good psychopharmacology. If you just understand the medicines and the data and you look at the potential benefits for patients, it's a no-brainer. Um, it's ridiculous that these, that these compounds are considered controversial and therefore not studied. If, if these compounds are safe and efficacious for our patients, we absolutely need to get them out there. Um, it doesn't matter what irrelevant recreational drug history these compounds might have had. I consider the use of ecstasy as a irritating um, the little blip in the history of clinical MDMA. MDMA started as a clinical drug and it's a very effective and safe clinical drug. For a few years it became the flavour of the month as, amongst the raving community but it doesn't mean that it was never a good useful safe clinical drug, it still is um, and we're bringing it back to medicine. So we need to put aside those uh, stigmatizing and politically motivated biases around these compounds and look at their pharmacology and look at their safety and efficacy profiles. The patients deserve nothing less than that. Um, Australia has a very rich community of um, science and uh, clinical medicine and also a forward-thinking liberal country. Uh, I, I fully expect that these medicines will be embraced by Australia because they want to stay ahead of the curve and so they should be. I've been out there two or three times in recent years. Um, PRISM and My Medicine Australia are at the forefront of this and really using the expertise from around the world and bringing people in and developing protocols and uh, I think the work with psilocybin and depression is really important. Treatment resistant depression is a big, big clinical problem and current treatments are far from perfect. This long-term maintenance therapy with SSRI drugs that don't really work that well and don't cure the disorder, they just paper over the cracks. I think the concept of using psilocybin assisted medicine to actually get to the root cause of problems and get the patient better and get them out the door without having to be on maintenance medication. Uh, fantastic stuff. I'm really pleased to see this coming out of Australia.